nobody's more frustrating on this team than Marcus Smart. Like this just, and it's been that way since he basically became a Celtic. And this comes via Sean Grandy, who is one of my favorites. Obviously, been on the show a lot. Um, quote from Sean: Your fun fact, Celtic stat of the day: Marcus Smart leads the Celtics in plus minus when he's in Boston as the seventh best offense in the NBA. That's a little shocking. When he's off, the Celtics score 0.947 points per possession, which would also rank seventh, the seventh worth worst offense in NBA history, end quote. And this is a ridiculous difference between those two statements. Like, they're either one of the best offenses in the NBA or the one of the worst offenses of all time. And literally, Marcus Smart is the piece that makes this go, which is, I think, to me, basically, Marcus Smart in a nutshell. His, his shooting numbers – are a disaster he's 38 percent from the field he's 28 percent from three so he's just like everybody else can't shoot the ball right now but he leads his team in assists and that stat right there proves that you know whether he's shooting well or not he's an important cog of this basketball team um my question for you is even though the numbers in some respects say they're good are the shooting numbers really really concerning here because at some point I've like, never been I've never been concerned by Marcus Smart okay. shooting. Those numbers are not at all surprising to me. Yeah. Marcus Smart has very little to frustrate me. I am his biggest fan. I think okay. he's the quarterback of their offense. If you actually watch, I don't think anyone that doesn't like Marcus Smart watches basketball. I don't think, and this is to kind of piggyback oh, uh, off of quote here we Brad Stevens had. This is to piggyback off a of quote Brad Stevens had about him, but um not exact, but I think if you watch the games and you know basketball, you see the impact he makes on the court. It might not be in the box score, but there's a reason he has so many Tommy awards. I think like hockey assists need to be counted in basketball because he would have a tremendous amount. I think their court movement, and this has been definitely helped, I think, with the addition of Schroeder too. Um, and I like the way Josh has been playing with Smart too, but I really think smart is so much smarter than people think and realize like for every chucked up three or like unfortunate foul at the end of a game where he just messes up um his impact is like undeniable if you watch the games whether it's diving on the court whether it's setting up a play he's constantly commuting communicating if you watch him telling people where to be and he he really, to me, is like an on-court coach for them um, on offense and defense. And that's why I think his offensive – that's why I think he's so underrated offensively is because people just watch him miss a shot or, like, do something in frustration or in, in the heat of the moment and just brand him with that. But if you watch how plays develop and how they form and just – the way he talks out there on the court, it's just, I don't know. I don't understand how people don't, <laughs> I don't understand the frustration with him. I think that yeah, I, get he's it. Been... I definitely get it. Cause it's like, sometimes when he takes a heat check shot and you're like, why are you taking that shot? But he does all these other things that are way more. Yeah. But despite the heat checks, he does all these other things to make up for it. But the missed shot is the only thing you remember because you think that, okay, you score by getting baskets you win games by scoring more than the other team so that's what sticks out to you and not I don't know you just with Marcus Smart you need to look below in between the box score I don't know I mean I don't think I think the way he shot and started to come out this season I don't think he had a great offensive start at all and that's why I think his comments on Jalen and Jason made it all that like well, kind of were a bad look for him at the time. And despite that, he was 100% right about everything he said. And they turned it around from that point on. And I mean, if you watch that Nets game, it's un it's impossible to deny that Marcus Smart wasn't the only, really was the only one that kind of gave a damn. Yeah. And what's interesting here is if you look at, um, I think it's, I got to figure out the stat. Marcus Smart is actually one of the top wing stoppers in the NBA like he is number one when it comes to uh like defending wing players in isolation so far this season he's the like, one of the best defenders in the league and of actually, anyone was... on ball like he is an all defensive he's an all NBA or all defensive NBA talent like 
he is like one of the honestly in my opinion like you could put Lou Dort in the conversation but he's one of the best defenders in the league there's not many better defenders than him pound for pound and obviously as we've been talking about this whole episode that translates to offense maybe he's not the one making the shot but he's still contributing yeah and and steals end up usually with easy baskets and Marcus Smart uh I believe Marcus Smart lobs are yeah. just like mm, like there's nothing better I mean uh any anytime there's a lot of the time Lord I'm not really I don't really care who's who's doing it giving it to him uh it just makes me smile uh every single time but if you look at steals in the NBA I thought yeah, he's number one. He, him, and Alex Caruso, who uh, Thank everybody, you. Thank everybody's you. finding out about <laughs> Alex Caruso being an excellent defensive player this year. Um, I, I was listening to something the other day. I think it was was Simmons and Harala Bobulgaris, where I was like, if you just look at Alex Caruso, you don't think he's a good basketball player, but you, you have don't to think ignore, he's an athlete. <laughs> you have to know what he looks like because he's actually like really helpful uh, on the basketball court. But yeah, you have to close your eyes and watch Caruso play. <laughs> just listen to the audio. Just listen to the audio. Yeah. That's all. That's all I got to do. You got to watch with blinders. But you know, Smart has been, and that's the thing with Smart. It's like, yeah, okay, the shooting's not always going to be there. Some days he's great, some days he's not. But the one thing with Smart that you have to admit, and again, Grandy's tweet highlights this. He has a humongous positive impact on this team. He's the Shiny best passer Bulldogs. on the team. He's the best passer on the team. Undeniable. Yeah, I, I think, and I think Rob is like close second, by the way. Rob um, is so underrated as a passer. Like, Rob's very good. Don't even get me started on Rob Williams because like- I wish he man- <laughs> hadn't seen him play in a while. It's just been a He's while. He's the most underrated big in the league, in my opinion. And once people find out more and more about him, and especially as his passing, like he just has great vision. And it's like, yeah. he's a rare talent. I love Rob. Just don't do it in the backcourt. Do it in the front court. Whenever he does it, like, he always, like, has a dumb outlet pass that gets picked off, and it's like, ah, Rob, don't do that. Just, just like – It's okay. He's learning. Need someone to come He's to learning. you and then run to the front court, then he'll be fine. Um, but, yeah, Smart – again, everybody's favorite lightning rod, Marcus Smart, um, whose shooting numbers are trash, as they always usually are, but, yet yeah, still finds ways to find positive ways to impact winning. And this year has been, you know, their leading assist guy. And that was a question coming in, like, what? how would – how would Marcus Smart look as the the primary initiator of an offense? Well, guess what? You know, th- is the offense pretty? Not all the time. Is that his fault? Not really. Um, when it is pretty, it, it's usually because he does something really not really uh, really great. So as much as people want to clown on Marcus Smart for shooting poorly, he still has a ridiculously high impact on this team. 